What's up, what up, what up, How's it going, my fellow homo sapiens? It's your boy, Uzumaki Hado, and Dev Pro has just updated their game, adding the new Kaiju support in there, and man, oh man, I'm loving this new support. So as you see here, I have the new Kaiju uh, spell card. I believe you pronounce it Kaiju Slumber. And I'm going against this reptile type of deck of Venom, Venomanaga type deck. Not really that competitive, but I really just wanted to try this deck out and to see how powerful it truly is. So as you see, my opponent did summon a monster at first, and I'm just kind of sitting here waiting on him to summon a monster. And I think that's one of the downfalls for Kaijus. If your opponent doesn't summon anything, you're kind of just waiting for it. So we're going to go ahead and play Slumber. We're going to summon that Star Destroyer on my side of the field. We're going to go ahead and special summon this Gradle. We're going to attempt to take Kaiju. It's going to go to the graveyard, and Star Destroyer is going to get in there. And Star Destroyer is just so strong. He's such a beast. I mean, looking at his attack, 3,300. Uh, so as you see here, he summoned a reptile monster. He attempted to target my um, Kaiju monster. I was able to negate it and destroy his source of revealing light. So I'll go ahead and I banish Slumber to add another Kaiju to my hand. So let's go ahead and negate that because he's trying to special summon up the graveyard. He needs to target and that's GG. Alright, so we have our second playthrough new Kaiju support. So I see I played Reason. I'm trying reasoning out to see how I like it. Um, he was able to call the first level, and the main reason I'm playing Reason is because all the monsters are really kind of different besides the the Gradle monsters. So he tried to get rid of my field card. I was able to remove a counter, protect itself. And as you see, he's really getting ready to put in a little bit of work. He does a little bit of damage on me, but it's okay because I have that new Kaiju support in my hand, that Kaiju Slumber. So let's go ahead and destroy all monsters on the field. And we special summon that Star Destroyer on my side of the field. What a beater. The one cool um, thing I, I like about Star, Star Destroyer is when a card targets another card on the field, you can negate the target and blow up something on the field. That's such a great effect. The only bad thing is you have to remove three counters. If it was two counters, it would be so good. So as you see here, I'm going to target my uh, Kaiju monster, the bucket. I'm going to negate the effect, then blow up a card on my opponent's side of the field. Yes, such a great card. So you see, I'm doing it again. I'm targeting it to book my monster face down. I'm going to negate it. Remove three counters, blow up a card on the field, and when that card goes to the graveyard, it puts another counter on my field card. Such a great little loop. So he's able to negate everything, but before he does that, I'm going to blow it up one more time. And he just kind of interrupted my little loop I had going there because it was going pretty strong for a while. As you see there, he has a big beater on the field. I believe it's about 33,000 beaters. No, no, yeah, 3,000 beaters. And he cranks it up. Oh my goodness, this monster here. And he burns me for 1,000. But I'm, I'm not panicking because I know I have a few kaijus in my hand. Who want to go ahead and be nice and generous and give him a kaiju? You know, it's the season to be giving. So we put a face down Gradle monster, just in case he uh, punches into it, we can take one of his monsters. So right now he's really getting in there, he has more life points than I do, it's not looking good for the home team. Let's go ahead and give him a small kaiju, just run it over. We set a Gradle monster, just in case he punches into it, we can keep protecting ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and um, beat that up, but he was able to destroy my kaiju. It's okay. Now here he messed up. He tapped into my monster when he should have synced up for something, bounced my uh, face down monster, and attacked for game. So 
So he's intelligent enough not to attack my face down because he knows what it is. He knows it is a, a face down Dreadle monster. So right now he has a bin on the field that he literally can't do anything with. Here we go, we got that Star Destroyer. We special summon it, attack over our Kaiju monster. And there we go again with this big rank up. He really wants to put some damage in on me. There we go, he burns me for another thousand. And now he's gonna become very salty. Now, at this point, I got nervous because I couldn't destroy his Asseed monster. However, I got this Kaiju. Here you go, buddy. Have this Kaiju and have a great day. So now we're going to go ahead and um, banish Slumber from a graveyard, add another Kaiju monster to our hand, just in case. So he has a nasty backfill there. But it's okay. We're not scared. We're going to go ahead and attack anyway. He negates my attack. So you see he's freeing up some space for his back row. So we have Solemn Notice in the hand. But it's useless right now because we only have 700 life points. So we set it for a bluff. And we should be able to attack for gain. GG. Okay, my fellow Homo sapiens. So this is the deck build that I'm playing right now on Dead Pro. It's just a, a practice deck. This is nothing serious. This is not the competitive build. This is just just to see how the new support works and how I like kaijus. So first thing first, we have the dark kaiju. Basically what this card does is you can remove a certain amount of counters and special summon a kaiju token. Not really nothing special. We have two of the earth kaiju. We're running three of the mad flame kaiju. He is awesome. Um, one thing you could do is remove three counters off the field, anywhere on the field, and destroy all monsters on the on your opponent's side of the field but it can't attack the turn it does this effect he's okay and now we have three of the sea turtle kaiju personally one of my favorite kaijus i feel that this is one of the best kaijus out there because it just you only need to remove two counters on the field anywhere and you negate and banish a card it's one thing to negate and destroy it but negate and banish such a strong card for cards that can't be destroyed things of that nature too good too good. The only bad thing about this, um, the Sea Turtle Kaiju is he has the literally the lowest attack out of all the other Kaijus, and I really hate that. Then we have two of the Mothra uh, Dust Kaiju. I'm just trying them out because he is new. And then we have one of my second favorite Kaijus, the Star Destroyer Kaiju. Oh my goodness, this monster is incredible. So anytime your opponent uses effect, or anyone on the field that uses an effect that targets, you can negate that effect, then destroy another card on the field. Not just that, it's 3,300 attack and 2,600 defense. It is a monster. You can target your own um, kaiju using this card here, negate it, it stays on the field, and you blow something else up on the field. Such a great card. Now, the bad thing about kaijus, I feel that it's really not consistent. And the main reason is... It's very hard to, if your opponent doesn't summon anything, you're just kind of sitting there twiddling your thumbs. You need something to set. You need something to kind of play in between um, not having a kaiju monster on the field. So I heard a lot of people say Lysenjus and Gradles. Right now, I feel like Gradles is the best little filler for kaijus for the main reason. If your opponent negates your special summon, or if your opponent has another monster, they run into your Gradle. You can always take it, or you can always take that Kaiju. You can only control one Kaiju, so when you attempt to take a Kaiju on Dead Pro, that Kaiju will go to the graveyard. So we're running three of each Gradle monster. We have the one, the Eagle, that's for effects. The Snake or the Cobra is for traps. And then we have the Alligator, that's for spells. The great thing about the Alligator is you can play um, Kaiju Slumber, blow up all monsters on the field, special summon a Kaiju on your side, special summon a Kaiju on your opponent's side, and then activate Alligator Effect to take your opponent Kaiju, try to send it to your side, but since you already control the Kaiju, it's going to go to the graveyard. You're going to run three Waterfront. This is where you're going to most likely get your um, counters, but not just that. It allows you to search your deck, 
for a kaiju um, monster. Um, we have Slumber. Basically, destroy all monsters on the field, as many as possible. Special summon a kaiju on your side, one on your opponent's side. And when this card is in your graveyard, not the turn it was sent, but the next turn you can banish it and add a kaiju monster to your hand. Now, the only thing that I really want to see with kaijus is something to add kaiju cards, period, to your hand. Because we have monsters. You have the ability to add monsters to your hands, but not really anything to add these spell cards, spell or track cards. We're running one Summoner Curse. This card here is a beast. It's very powerful. It slows down a lot of decks. I love the card. I had it at two, but I bumped it down to one because I really wanted to try out a lot of these other cards in this deck. But I'm most likely going to put it back up at two. Basically, what Summoner Curse does is when a, a monster is special summoned on a field, the controller of that monster banishes, choose one card and banishes out their hand. So basically, you play this card, you special summon a kaiju on your opponent's side of the field, and it has to banish a card out of their hand. And that sucks. That really, really, really sucks. It really pisses a lot of people off. They get very mad <laughs> when you special summon a monster on their side of the field. They lose a monster, but then they have to banish a card out of their hand. We're running three reasoning. Um, a lot of people asked me, they said, hey, man, why are you not running reasoning? Reasoning is a great card. So I'm trying it out. It's okay. I'm not really feeling it that much, but uh, I'm going to keep it in to see can I maybe pull off some more combos. Then we have three of the Kaiju Trap card. Basically what this card does is once per turn, you can target a Kaiju, flip it face down, and it gets a counter. Maximum three counters. Great if you give your opponent a Kaiju and they're getting ready to attack with it, book it face down. But not just that, it's good for generating counters. The second thing is using this card with um, Star Destroyer. Target Star Destroyer to flip it face down. Using Star Destroyer effect to uh, negate the effect. Remove three counters off the field and blow up something on your opponent's side of the field. Oh my goodness. Such a great card. And finally, three Solemn Notices. Um, I believe they changed the name to Solemn Strike or something of that nature. I'm not for sure. Maybe it's Solemn Stoke. I'm not for sure. I like Solemn Notice. I really like the name. I really enjoy the name. But that's the deck so far. Now, for the extra deck, I really haven't put anything there. This was because I was running Heavy Kite um, Gradles earlier, and I had the, all the other tuners in it. So I really haven't done anything with this side yet, and I really haven't done anything with the side deck. But as the weeks come go on, I'm going to be altering this deck and actually improving it, making it more competitive, and I'm going to start playing this maybe a little bit at some of my locals to see how competitive Kaijus can be. So if I left something out or if you would add or take something out, please let me know in the comment box below. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Matane.